Hello and welcome back to Motorsport Manager 3. So this time we will be taking a look at the Black Sea GP and it is round 6 of 8. We are currently in 4th place as a team um, and about 9th through 11th um, individually. Our drivers are uh, slowly dropping down on the grid. I think when we started this season we were around 6th. Our car is has been staying in 6th and our staff is seventh, which I believe has dropped as well. Um, one of the good things is that our young driver um, is getting better and might turn out to be a pretty decent driver, actually. Current potential is 55 out of 90, but um, her max potential did go up, which is nice. Um, and hopefully we do have three more races, and hopefully her current... Um, skill will go up as well uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to be replacing Avery uh, next season um, one reason is she's 30 and there is a point where every driver starts losing stats uh, even though Connolly here is the worst driver she is 21 and a paid driver as well so we definitely want to keep her around for at least one more season beyond that when we get another uh, young driver So uh, I think that just about wraps it up. We still have supplier network going. We ha we're not really working on anything at the headquarters. Um, let's see if there's anything for us. There's 4 million. Can target one additional node in the supplier network. Um, hmm. And then this is 500,000 per race. That would be helpful. And this plus five influence per race. But see, these two here are going to be eight million each. So we need to be careful. Plus two mechanical bonus to both cars. Um, yeah, we need to start worrying about being able to build parts. Luckily, these are one and a half million. And after that we have, let's see, team leaders available in part development. Oh, cool. And then we'll move from there. Okay, let's see what we got here. Plus 25 improvement points per race. Yeah, let's do that. It's not going to affect us this season, but definitely it's going to help next season. Um, and then from there we can get 10% car reliability. That would be helpful. Forecasting center unlocked. Yeah, we definitely want to get those two. So... All right, we're going to get some good upgrades after this. Let's see, sponsors. We only have one expiring after this race. And I think that's about it. Okay, let us go to the Black Sea GP. Definitely 12th or above. No way we're getting better than fourth or third. Okay, time to qualify. We'll risk it. Ooh. That's about it. Definitely need to upgrade that uh, mechanic as well. Okay, everyone's coming out. Uh, very slow track here. Oh yeah, especially with that turn there. Okay, let's see. Let's see how far we drop. Well, there's a lot of time. We might only get one more. Uh, yep, very nice. Um, oh, 
perfect. Oh man, shame. Okay, hopefully we get one more. Give me zero two. One to four. We'll risk it. All right. We still get the point seven five. Dang. Ah, oh, so close for both of them to get the point seven five. But hopefully they'll be able to come in at least one more time. I, I think they should. But we'll see. I don't think we'll be able to go out one more time. But we're doing too, pretty good for where we usually end up in races, fifth and sixth. So that tells us that we're not doing too badly. I mean, maybe with uh, a little bit better drivers. Um, we would do better. Okay, let's see if we can get 21% here. Okay, I think I think we should be able to. Yeah. Nice, perfect setup. Go ahead, and then can we get a perfect setup for you? 6%. And we got it. Fifth and six, not bad. I don't think we're gonna have enough time to do another lap. Oh, so close. Oh, if that turn wasn't there. Guilu, again, pole position. Maybe we should have picked her up. Ooh, it's raining. Ooh, this is interesting. Rain is uh, definitely the great equalizer. Let's see if we can. Well, we can't tell if it's going to be rising or not, so we're going to stick to intermediate six to eight laps. We don't really have a choice. Uh, not applicable. We'll take that. Park condition. Let's do it. All right, hopefully, we don't crash here Connolly in third place wow for some reason Connolly has been performing slightly better um, it seems at least in the beginning of races the Avery. But there is definitely a gap now between second and third. And the gap is definitely widening. So we do have two pretty clear, you know, drivers that are, and, and maybe teams that are out front. Um, let's see how we're going to. Okay, so it is getting lower, so we're going to conserve here um, just so we can time it right. Because if you get, um, if you change your tires too early, you're still going to be affected by the water and it's not going to be good. So you just got to time it right. But we'll keep an eye on when everyone else is pitting here. Okay, I think we will pit two more columns. So there's seven minutes left until we have overcast. Okay, we are seeing the pits coming in. Okay, so we're going to send Connolly, and you are going to go super softs. 35%, yeah. You can go to neutral. And then Avery can pit as well. 
And Avery, let's see, yeah, there's seven laps left. You can go ultra softs actually. 34%, go to neutral here. Can't really push the car because of the condition. We have low condition, so it's hard to go with the engine. Okay, pit stop, let's go. Uh oh, safety car. No, we just pit. No, we don't need to pit. Actually, you might pit. Put you on ultra softs. Who crashed? Evans? Guilu. Remember when Guilu was offered to us? But, I mean, her contract is just way too high. John's dot here. <clears throat> One of my favorites. Santa Ana, I've, I've uh, had Santa Ana too. Melo as well. Well, yeah, these are all from the PC, PC game. So Avery's condition is 14%, four laps remaining, sitting in 18th place, wow. Um, six seconds to make up here. Uh, I don't think we're going to do that. Connolly needs to hold on to 11th place and not keep dropping anymore. There's a slight gap between um, her and, oh, Avery retired. What happened? Did you part? Uh, conditions go to low. Oh my goodness, six. You gotta hold on, Connolly. Just hold on to tenth. Jeez. Oh, what a terrible race. But we did get the bonus, so it's not too bad. Drop the sixth from fourth. Um, we could potentially by the end of the season drop to eighth. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> if you didn't catch that, someone joked, why did Oncos Racing cross the road to get to the middle? Avery wants a new contract. Sorry, Avery, but you're definitely not getting a new contract. Okay, current potential going up. Excellent. All right, pick that up. So now, so the thing is, if I go here, which is two races, um, actually I will, because when the, the one on the right is done, we'll go to the one above it. Well, we can't, so we'll see. HQ upgrade complete, 0.25 performance points, another upgrade, brakes development unlocked, another upgrade, suspension development unlocked. All right, so now we can get 10% car reliability which is going to be super helpful. Okay. Um, what was this? We don't care too much about mechanical bonus right now. Okay, let's see what we got here. New setup card, yes, 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 yes. We want the third card. Plus one to drivers overtaking and Hmm. Two million. Let's do it. All 
Okay. See, this is why you want positive cash flow, so that at one point you can actually invest in your team and not just pick up, you know, really strong drivers that put you in negative cash flow. Um, let's go breaking here. Points available. We're taking. Ooh, our staff improved. We are sitting in sixth place, and we will be in Munich next time. All right, well, thanks for watching, and see you next time.